To assemble the drop tank trailer, all you'll need is a couple of axles, the end cap that comes with it, glue, some paint pens, and paint. And this will be the easiest assembly you've ever done. To begin, locate the end cap. There is a notch at the top of the end cap to match up to a notch at the top of the trailer. First thing to do is to dry fit the end cap to the trailer to make sure it fits snug. What we're looking for is to make sure that the end cap doesn't have any gap when we go ahead and close it. You might need to push against the ribs like I'm doing here and then push till you hear it snap. If it doesn't snap that's okay but it wouldn't be unheard of if it did. Once you're sure that it's going to fit proper go ahead and put a bead of glue around the inside of the tank. Now if there happens to be any burrs or uneven surfaces left over from printing and you cannot get the seams to close up proper you can take a piece of sandpaper or even a small file you can lightly sand or file around the edge of the tank to remove any burrs or uneven surfaces. That is not the case on this one so now we'll just take a little bit of glue around the inside and we don't have to get carried away. Less is more for this operation. There. I heard it snap and we're good to go. At this point we are ready to clean it for prime and paint. To clean the plastic I'm using rubbing alcohol on a rag. Before you start, it would be a good idea to use a little rubbing alcohol on your fingers just to remove any oils that might be present or contaminants on your fingers so it doesn't transfer to the plastic as you clean. I'm wiping down the surfaces generously. The alcohol does evaporate so it won't be a problem if you get too much on there. You'll notice I'm spending a lot of time on the large surfaces, not so much on the fine detail. Now we're done. Once the alcohol is all evaporated, you're ready for prime and paint. I would tell you for this particular trailer, I used a store brand of aluminum paint. When I use aluminum paint on this plastic, I've had a lot of success just spraying the aluminum paint right on the raw plastic without primer. I have had a lot of success and no trouble doing that. If you feel a primer is necessary, go ahead and do it. It won't hurt a thing. Go ahead and add your axles. At this point, your trailer is fully assembled. Now we can add extra detail. We're going to put some DOT tape on the back of the trailer. There's a spot made specially for it. Next, I'm going to use a variety of paint pens to add some other details such as lights, side lights, and even the mud flaps. On the model, there are three lights on the very back toward the top of the trailer. There's also tail lights. Next, we're going to add a little orange. On the trailer, there is this marker on the side. Finally, we're going to add a little color to the mud flaps. Looking at pictures of these trailers online, I found that white was a common color for the mud flaps.
You could do the inside of the rear mud flap before you put your axle on or take the axle off, paint it, then replace it once your mud flap is painted. It's entirely up to you. Black covers better than the white, but the white gives it quite a different look. Now you're ready to pull your trailer down the road.